Wendy is ready. She's joining us from Washington, D.C. She's former digital director for the Mitt Romney camp, presidential campaign, current president of the not-for-profit Empowered Women. Mindy Finn is joining us with analysis of, well, the, the presidential candidates. Mindy, uh, just, let me back up. Do these candidates need to get specific about what they're going to do to fight ISIS? Because you have some say Marco Rubio, for example, even a Lindsey Graham, who's the most specific in terms of his plan. But the leaders in, in this uh, presidential election so far are Donald Trump, where he's kind of here, there and whatever rings, I guess, connects with people at the moment. Well, the most important thing for these candidates right now is to show strength. That's where the American people are. They're, they're very concerned about this threat. Um, you know, there's a reason that the House voted to Put a pause to accepting Syrian refugees into the country. Um, that was attuned with where public opinion is on the issue. So right now, showing strength is most important. I think that's why you see it from many of the Republican candidates as well as Hillary Clinton. But as we get closer here, you know, past Iowa into New Hampshire, and this primary gets really heated, and voters are making their final decisions, and the parties at party is making its final decision. They're going to be pressed to get more specific. But, Mindy, the kind of um, talk that you hear from Donald Trump is bomb those suckers. Is that really the kind of strength? It, maybe it, that's what people want to hear. They don't want to get into how many troops need to be on the ground. They don't want to get into uh, the, the minute, the minutia, the, the small details about this very complicated situation. They just want to hear, we're going to go get them. Well, the, the problem here is that the president is viewed as being weak on this issue. I mean, the, pu the American public opinion right now is that the strategy to combat ISIS has failed. And that's why we're at this point today. I mean, ultimately, that's going to be a challenge for Hillary Clinton in the general election, because she, as the State Department, that's the, one of her core arguments of you know, why she's qualified to be president, her experience. Um, but she, it also puts her in the position as architect of the Obama strategy. So at a time when the public has lost trust, in government in total, mm -hmm. lost trust in the president, this White House's approach to defeating ISIS. They're looking for that strength. Um, but, oh, you know, ultimately, when there are some voters that are looking for more specifics. And so I think it is important um, and why we see certain candidates like a Ted Cruz, for example, rising in Iowa, right. is that he appeals to the same types of voters as a Carson or a Trump. But but he is seen as having more experience and is getting more specific right. on an issue like combating ISIS. Mindy, I want to get your reaction to this, and I'll, I'll bring in Mike and John as well. President Obama commenting on the terror attacks in Paris in that news conference yesterday with French President Francois Hollande. But take a listen to this. Next week, I will be joining President Hollande and world leaders in Paris for the Global Climate Conference. What a powerful <clears throat> rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. Is this the tone the president should be taking at this time, Mindy? I don't believe so. I mean, look, nobody wants to be in the position of America cowering in fear um, when there are attacks around the world. That's, you know, the, the president saying in the past that we will not retreat in fear. I think that that's the right tone. But the problem is, is that he hasn't shown empathy or an understanding of the, the very real fears that American people face. Um, while also saying, you know, kind of taking a calm tone as our commander in chief and, and the leader of our country. So. Um, the, the president, I, I think, honestly, the last week um, has been some of the weakest times in his presidency um, when it comes to how he's responded in the wake of Paris um, and making fun of kind of blaming it Republicans, um, putting Republicans in the position of, of enemy or, or kind of making fun of them for saying they're fearing three-year-olds and widows and right. orphans coming into the country. That's not attuned with where the American people are. Mindy, can, oh, sorry, John. And Mindy, it's Mike Murphy. I had a question. So clearly the, the move is to be anti-Obama. You know, that's what we're looking for in the candidates uh, in the Republican uh, debates coming up. But how do we look through as a voter at home? How do we look through someone who's clearly trying to win an election and someone who's actually talking about a plan they're going to carry out if they're elected as president? I think what you do is you do look for those specifics. I mean, voters haven't really, you know, there are candidates who don't have those specifics who are doing well right now, but you look for those specifics. What is that plan? First of all, um, are they saying this is radical Islamic terrorism? Um, you know, they can, they can qualify and kind of quantify the threat. They have a very specific plan, you know, whether we will 
go into Syria, whether we'll put troops on the ground, whether we'll um, institute a no-fly zone. You know, they have some of those specifics, and they talk about, I think this is the most important piece, is that the American people are used to hearing plans, but how do we know? At what point do we go back and measure and say whether this is successful or not, and whether it's time to, to shift gears? I mean, that's what you do in a business. It's You put forth a plan, and then you, measure, you, you do analysis, you measure, and you determine, has this been successful or not? And do we need to shift course, as opposed to letting years go by of assuring people this is working, this is working, this is working, when there's proof that it's not? Mindy, thanks so much for being here. It was good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Mindy Finn. Absolutely. Happy Thanksgiving. In Washington for us.